Hey guys, Ace here with just a little quick video. So, I'm just going to show you guys something. See this? Copyright claim. Alright, I figured dispute it because I did genuinely make the audio file this time, like I did every other song in this video, in this mod movie. I made every single beat in there, but apparently he disputed, he disputed, and he disputed. He rejected my dispute. This is the first time this happened to me, not gonna lie. Now instead of getting mad about it, I decided to just replace that one with whatever they decided whatever YouTube decided oh was probably best fitting for their stuff so I, I did find something that I can get comfortable with using on that video entirely but here's the thing I'm not happy because I still made that beat granted without the knowledge that it fit exactly to their stupid beat. So you know what? I don't, I don't want your stuff. I do not want your song if this is how you're going to be. If you're going to be a big baby about your money rolling in that you're probably not even getting and leave me with the worry that if I appalled it still and then you still yet yeah, you still reject it and it gives me that copyright strike that that's gonna hang over me so instead of doing all of that or getting pissy about it or making a retaliation video about it which technically you could say this is now this is the original I'm only playing a couple seconds but this is the original beat that I know I This is the retaliation beat I made. Nobody's taking this. I will dispute this because I did make this on my phone just now. I think I tried streaming from Amon a couple seconds to show it, but then it didn't like it, it, it crashed or something because it was overlaying with Messenger or whatever, some bullshit. But here you go. Playing the full song. Featuring my cat
Now. somewhat unique did that sound. I'm not going to play the other one for fear of, oh, he's going to make a dispute claim again because I'm using it in the video. Because I'm, I'm seriously just, as a creator, I'm trying to avoid all that bullshit. I'm trying to avoid all the copyright nonsense that I had no intention of doing. I'll dispute it only because I want the claim taken off. Yes, it's not a strike. It's not the same as a strike and it doesn't impact me. But if I did start making money from my content, which wouldn't be for a, while, a long time, then think how I would feel then if I was actually making money from these videos or if that was my like side job how would you think I would feel if someone just did that and then just disputed it like that and then oh I, I don't know how it would truly truly go I still am paranoid about the end result if because like like, obviously, it probably won't show it now. Oh, no, it will. I've already taken action. You know, what's done is done. I could, you know, choose to, like, what it say, appall it, or, you know. Oh, let me, let me show you this guy. This. Now I'm going to look up this guy. I'm going to look up Casavan. And then I'm going to look up Dragon Music. See how legit they are. Because I'm not going down without getting an explanation for something. Because this is bullshit. Oh, what's that? Not even real? Can't. Sure, it's only for Casavan. Okay, it's always real. Popular song. Oh, over on TikTok, huh? Oh, my mistake. Plus cast it down. Yeah. Nothing else other than Tech Talk, seriously. No, not, not plus cast it down. Stupid. Only for cast it down. You. Either being scrolling with me, or. He's only a TikToker and making these YouTube claims trying to get his fucking money. Which is stupid. Now. Dragon music.
Philly music. I'm showing all the proof is in the pudding. I don't believe digital. Okay. Let's let's see their fucking credentials, shall we? A Paris based record label. More than twenty brands and labels. Yeah, I know labels that have way more than that. So five, I guess. Uh, although reporting from its global headquarters in Paris, France, the company is legally quartered, supposedly for tax purposes. <laughs> tax purposes. Part the U.S. is using service for an artist to incorporate. 16 million growth capital investment. Okay, but still, it's a fucking beat. No, no, I'm, I'm going back to that. I'm going back to that. I want to see what... I, I want to see what kind of music they specialize in. This whole recording is going up as a full video. I'm showing everything. I'm not cutting everything. I'm not putting any kind of anything into it. I've been dealing with this bullshit for about 26 fucking days now. Maybe more. Look, look, at, all, look at all this. References. All these references. All of these fucking references saying the same thing. called Believe Music that has been trying to scam people out of their ad revenue by claiming that they own music that has been listed as copyright free. They've been even doing that and that was two years ago. That wasn't actually that long ago. YouTube isn't doing anything about this and Believe is easily profiting off content that isn't theirs from creators that don't have the money to be able to fight and believe themselves. Recently they've targeted Rastala channel with over 900k subscribers. And they're targeting the little guys too. I've only got like 150 subs. It makes piano covers with visuals to go along with them. Believe is claiming that they not only own the audio, but also the visuals. YouTube isn't doing anything about this, of course, and the reserves channel to be deleted. Let's look at another thing, shall we? Just just one more. My first time playing one. Let's look at this one. Don't mind that. But this is why when people ask me why I don't get serious about my music. This is why. There's too much copyright bullshit to go through. Videos, they're easy to escape the copyright. 
Hi, right, so many news who are believe music. I had a claim for visual content and not for music. A month ago, I created a video for promote my audio jungle music on YouTube, and I choose a video mark that is Creative Commons on Vimeo. That one, not going to play it. Out of respect for them, claim said that the content video is by I do on my show weeks get it rock and teaser. So I put this on YouTube, and I find this video from February 2015. Looks like these guys were taking the visual content as their own, registering to leave music. No idea, not a big deal. If anyone only has 400 views, just curious. <laughs> You're looking at them. They're disgusting YouTube trolls. Several years ago, I had an album released via one German record label. That's what happened. All tracks from it registered on this Believe Music now without my permission. Without his fucking permission, they got registered on it. this. Play music is a digital music distributor, not trolls. They do indeed use content ID to protect material that they distribute. They operate several labels such as Zimbalam, which is probably why they registered music land. No content ID prohibits registering creative commons material as well as registering someone else's work of course. My guess is that Hino Michelle Weeks have released their track through Believe Music, which then registered their track with content ID as well as their video clip, without realizing that the video included CC content. You should speak the claim and maybe get in touch with the original ZC content creator. Tell him what's up. Yeah. <laughs> Every track protected without all the permission. And removing them from such protection is big, big problem. More than this, while signing a label contract, you have no idea. Well, he could spell a little bit better, not gonna lie. I'll release tracks later. I'll struggle with leaving protection. No royalties paid from such protection, not a single penny. Later, when your contract with label ended, you can't sell this music for stock. Because some of the library's prohibitive use of ad for ad and content ID. I just try to remove such claims and explain the library manager why music owned by Bully Music and why it is banned on YouTube. That's why they're trolls. He's got a point. Right, only one more. I won't make this video too long, I promise. One more. The artist signed to a label, and the label has a contract with a distributor. This is quite normal. The contract duration is defined in advance. Simply read and, read and pay attention to what you sign. Yeah. I don't sign anything, though. I don't sign anything. I just make it based off of a beat app. But I try my best to custom make the beats. And the thing is, there's so much music out there, you can't tell what's what. And, mind you, all I'm simply trying to do is make a beat that won't get copyright struck in the back of my movie. I'm not even releasing it seriously. Belief music has existed for over 10 years and has many independent functions. It's both label and a dual digital distributor. Belief from artists signed by a label and Zimbalam for independent artists. They have an album and a label distributed by Believe. Royalties are paid to the label, which must pay them to the artist. They may claim only what has been contracted, so if it's a mistake, it must be able to be repaired. Always be careful when you sign a contract, especially, yeah. He's talking about contracts, though. It's like most things, they're a real company, but they're greedy. They're gonna hit even the little guys for this shit, and it's stupid. It is disgusting. It is bottom of the barrel, sacrificially dumb, and it is wrong. That being said, I get no more to say on the matter. I read my piece. I wrote all the proof. You've seen it right there on the screen. You've heard the proof for yourself. I don't need to share anymore.
That's all I got for you. See ya.